Hey guys, it's Monty. Welcome back. I am here to share with you a recent haul that I did. Um, I think this is KS Craft. Um, I did. Um, I was working on the um, shaker embellishments for um, Tony at Craftbird. She was doing the um, garden party shaker embellishment you send in and then you get some back um, anyway when I started doing that I realized like I have no hardly any shaker dies I think I mentioned in, my, in that video I have like one that's a ice skate that's an actual shaker die and then some other Christmas ones but like regular ones I have nothing <laughs> and I didn't realize that till I went to try and make some and you know of course you can make basic shapes um, shakers out of just if you have a bunch of nesting dies um, that's easy to do but I wanted something you know more than that um, so anyway I decided I better get me a few um, shaker dies and I don't know if I ever ended up with many on this order but it got me looking <laughs> so I placed an order and okay so first so I just thought I'd share this with you so first off I got um, this little one. My phone is sliding again. I'm just too lazy to hook it up to the little thing. Sorry. Hang on. I was just kind of bracing it right there. Oh, still not. Hang on. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this little one. This one makes a. Um, I think this makes a snowflake ornament so it's got like little stars out of it and so you're going to cut this out multiple times obviously so I'll put it together cut it out put it together and show you guys what it makes but anyway I got that one obviously not a shaker but I just thought it was cute okay um I got another bow die because I love bow dies <laughs> and I, I have a bunch of kind of plainer ones and I wanted to be able to do this one where it's easier to layer it so I got that one. Okay, here's a shaker one. I thought this was cute, this perfume um, jar one. So I got that one. So that's real cute. So then it's obviously got the shaker there. So I'll have to try that one out. I got this cute little one. I thought it would go great with the garden party. It's this cute little um, cup. So it could be a coffee cup or tea cup, I guess, just depending on what shape you do this looks more like a teacup up here but anyway and then I but I like the spoon there too so and these are both shakers so I'll be trying that out I got oh this one's the one I got this one is okay let me take this out and show you um, this one is actual like teacup and saucer so let me get this out of here and show you kind of hard because there's two of them. So there's a small one and a larger one. And I can't remember who I saw I get these. It might have been Tony Crafters. I'm not sure. But anyway, so here's the larger one. So it's got the cup and the saucer and the spoon and, you know, all the different accessory things to go with it to layer it and stuff. So I got that one. And then here's the baby one. So super cute. So I got that one. This is just a regular die, but it's a roller skate. I thought that was super cute. Don't have anything like that. I haven't ordered dies for a while, so. Um, and then I liked this one. I'll take this out to show you. It's kind of hard when there's multiple pieces in there. Okay, so this one is um, that butterfly um, topper. So this is the topper part. Here's the pieces so you can um, layer and, um, you know, make a shaker. So, I want to try that one out. So I got that one. Okay, so this one, a shaker, but in it is <laughs> winter because it's a snowman. But look how cute that is. So, it'll make a cute little shaker of a shaker belly. And then, I don't know if this came with it or if they sent me this extra or what. I don't remember seeing this, but it's a stamp set that has all the um, snowman faces on it. So, I might have just not paid attention when I ordered it. It might have actually came with it, but 
or it might have been a freebie. I don't know. <laughs> I never go back and compare. I need to go. I should do that. Make sure I'm getting everything on my order. I don't even remember what I ordered. Okay, and then I got this one, and I think this one is... Uh, I think this one makes like the little um, bag type thing that has the little pocket on top, uh, the little um, scalloped edge on top. Let's see if I can get this apart. The thing is, I don't even remember what I ordered. <coughs> so it comes with this piece. Oh yeah, so this this can be made into a shaker too. So it's got this, you cut these these out twice, put these together. So it's got the little hand, a uh, little um, closure up here. You can, here's the other piece. And then it's got the piece here, so you can definitely make a shaker out of that. And then the um, uh, bottom piece. So there's that big die. That's going to be fun. This one. <laughs> I don't remember what this one is supposed to be either. I guess I'll find out when I cut it. Let me see if I can tell when I open it. It's obviously some kind of box of some kind. But I don't remember exactly what. Oh, this is the... Um, oh, I think this is the... Uh, I think this is the one that makes the... like a, a card that has the opening on top so you can like make the card then like slide something down inside there I think that's what this one is and I don't remember who I saw get this one and then it's got layering pieces and um, stuff that you get off you know either layer or make shake or make shakers or whichever it comes with all those pieces so yeah this is what that is so that's gonna be a fun one I got this cute one with all the hearts, um, the different shape hearts, and make me make balloons out of them. It's a little bow, really cute. So that should be a fun one to play with. Really pretty. Okay, and then I got a couple. Well, I got this die, of course. I want to try out with that makes all the layered, well, the the thick. Um, rosette ones that you have to fold and stuff so got that to try and then I also ordered um, I, I don't have like hardly any rosette dies I think I have that one long one I showed you guys before in a previous video that's really old it's a like a cuddle bug one <laughs> I have that one and I think one more and that's it usually I just end up just making my own so um, you know I just either make it straight or I cut a border with a border punch first and then and then I just go in and score it however you know, however wide I want the things but anyway I got this cute little um, rosette I liked all the little edges you know the little dots and scallops on the edges so that should be fun to work with so that is it for my die haul it should be fun like I said I haven't ordered dies in forever and I finally just went on and ordered a bunch so, um, can't wait to make projects with them. When I do, I will come back on and show you guys. Um, thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. Hopefully I'm going to get this, um, uh, pocket letter finished really soon for Sabrina, the mismatch pastor for her challenge. I'm going to set off before I'm too late. That's okay. I don't care if I'm late. I am late, I'll just, it's not, I just want to support her, it doesn't matter for the prize, but anyway, I already sent off Zach's thing, but um, I haven't got the pocket letter finished when I started it and I went on vacation and and I've been so busy trying to get caught up with uh, getting the lawn mowed and watering all my plants so they don't die and <laughs> I was worried about them when I was gone that they would, because we just planted a bunch of new um, couple little trees and some bush like we planted some grapes and some raspberries and some blackberries and I was just kind of worried that they were gonna you know I was, was watering them every day because it's been so hot I was worried they were gonna you know not get enough water you know because it's this is the first after the first first week or two you got to water them like every day to make sure they don't get dried out and stuff so 
I was worried about that, but when I came back, they were doing great. So, um, anyway, still get, try to get caught up on our thing, <laughs> laundry, getting the trailer unloaded, food put away, all that kind of stuff. Plus, oh my gosh, you guys, when um, I got home, um, went out into the garage, and I yeah, something smelled really bad in the garage. I'm like, oh my gosh, what died out here? I thought maybe the cat caught a um, mouse, you know, while we were gone, and had, you know, it was laying out there stinking. <laughs> and no, looked around, all of a sudden I see blood running down out the driveway, out the length of the garage because the one I have like three freezers out in the garage and they're all kind of towards the like the the door that goes into the house so they're all kind of out right by there so it had the whole length of the garage and of course it's angled a little bit um, and there was like these streaks of blood running down there <sighs> one of the freezers one of the breakers had tripped and so one of the freezers turned off because of the breaker and um, it was the freezer that I had tons of meat. It was my freezer kept most of my meat in. And oh my gosh, I lost probably four hundred dollars worth of meat. And I had been that was it was packed full. I had been adding to it lately and you know, just Yeah. <laughs> I was so bummed. I lost all that meat, had to go throw it all out, had to take the hose into the garage and spray out the the freezer to get all the blood out of it and the spray down the garage floor and oh my gosh of course there's tons of stuff in the garage so the blood kind of like ran underneath all the stuff so anyway it total mess so we have been just like running and <laughs> trying to catch up after being home from the great 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 uh, vacation that we had going camping and boating and fishing and it was such fun and we hadn't had a vacation forever my husband's been working so much we haven't had more than just a weekend or like a long weekend just like a three-day weekend we haven't had a vacation like that in probably 10 years or more so that was so fun to go and we all had fun the baby had a blast on the boat fishing driving the boat it, it was fun, even though it was way cool and actually cold and rainy some of the time, it just felt super good to get out of the heat too, because it's been overly hot here for how early in the year it got super hot, so anyway, um, yeah, that doesn't have much, much to do with dyes, but um, <laughs> I started talking and I couldn't stop, so anyway, just a little update there, so um, wanted to hurry up and do that uh, haul, and I will start trying to get caught up on projects and I did some videos yesterday to do um, some de-stashes so I'll be getting you know um, totals out and that kind of stuff to you guys so anyway just just know uh, thinking about you guys thanks so much for supporting my channel and hope you're all having a great day and I will talk to you soon bye